so my name is Jason Park. Uh, we are Maru Restaurant on Wilshire Boulevard in Santa Monica. Um, we are a transplant from Valencia. Um, I've been doing farm to table um, for over a decade now. But we closed the Valencia location and we are now here. Okay, so you had mentioned that the menu is kind of interesting or eclectic. And yes. that kind of ties in with the name of the restaurant, Maru. So Maru meaning round or circle, right? So what it also means is um, guile and perfect. And um, it symbolizes um, the world. So if you look at oil tankers or other world traveling um, ocean vessels, it's called something, something Maru, right? So that's kind of how we came about that name. Because I'm Korean, my mother cooked a hybrid of Korean and Japanese because her mother was pretty much raised in Japan all the way through college. And so what she fed my mom was a hybrid of Japanese food and Korean food. And that's where I get my influence, right? And then culinary school primarily teaches French. I also went to a Japanese culinary school and a sushi school. So I get a stronger emphasis on Japanese food from kaiseki down to you know sushi. So that's, our, that's my background and that's how come we call ourselves Maru. Because we do global cuisine. So you'll find some pasta, you'll find some French influence, you'll find some very little Korean and a lot of um, French Japanese. So that's how that comes about. So very important about our menu, um, especially when you're going into traditional Japanese, um, and I learned this early on, is not so much the ingredient, it's the freshness of the product and you keep the theme or the paradigm of freshness and in season and what's best now uh, and, you know, when you're designing the menu. So right now on the west coast we have wild albacore and if you go sport fishing off of San Diego up all the way up into Santa Barbara next month and the month after, we have wild albacore. So we did what's called usuzukuri which is a thin cut um, technique in cutting fish. So it was a wild albacore suzukuri. It had um, garlic flowers. It had harishoga, which is uh, thinly cut ginger, um, a little bit of yuzu juice, ponzu, um, and it's just a nice, clean, uh, tasting dish. So next course was nigiri. So nigiri is fish on top of rice. There are a few items on there, but probably the most interesting would be the namadako or namatako, but it's namadako. Um, it's live octopus leg and it comes from Hokkaido. Um, the suction cups are the one that we got in are actually about this big. Um, that was kind of an appetizer. We do sumi so with that. Um, and then the legs are actually still alive, otherwise we don't serve it. So we slice it and then we hit it with our knife and it curls up and firms up. Kind of like what happens with Mirugai and other shellfish. Um, and we had onmaguro and was in kampachi and some other things, but pretty much outside of, other than tuna, we we're looking at fish that's flown overnight from Japan. And it's important because um, we you get what's called ikejime. Ikejime is like a live fish killing where they catch the fish, they bleed it by cutting right underneath the gill and then the tail and they hang it upside down. So kind of like kosher laws where they're bleeding um, a lamb or a cow to remove the blood. Um, that's how careful the Japanese are when they harvest fish or catch fish. So heirloom tomato salad. Next course was butterfish. So crispy duck risotto. So our filet is next. So pork belly is next. So bread pudding. So peach tart. Now we're on to berry cobbler. 